morning, this is Mrs. Coffee, and today I'm going to show you, um, it's called a tornado maker. And since we're talking about severe weather this week, and in particular to tornadoes and hurricanes, I thought this would be a great um, demonstration for you. So I bought this kit from Amazon, and it's called Kids Labs Tornado Maker. So what it does, I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see it in action. So this is a two liter bottle and there are some little foam balls inside of here. And there is a motor inside this section down at the bottom. And the motor converts um, electricity from batteries that are in the bottom into physical energy. And it's going to run, there's a little propeller at the bottom. I don't know if we can see it. Let me zoom it in. I think there's a glare so you can't see it, but there's a little propeller that turns in a circle and it swirls the water inside of the tube. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then I'll explain a little bit more how it works. Okay, so you will start to see a little tornado forming. So give it a minute. So if you spin a bottle of water in a circular motion, you may have tried this before, it creates a water vortex. It looks a lot like a mini tornado. The motor of this tornado maker, that is the motors down here at the bottom, um, works in the same way. It turns energy from the batteries into physical energy and that is what runs the propeller. The propeller swirls the water in a circular motion and creates a vortex. Just like in real life, there are different types of vortexes um, some that you may have heard of are tornadoes, hurricanes, and water spouts, which is a tornado that forms over water. So the vortex forms because of centripetal force, an inward force that directs an object, and in this case it's these foam balls that are in there, or fluid such as water, towards the center of the circular path. So you can see there's the center of the circular path you the top of that. So this is an example of a tornado model that I made and I can have inside my home. It wasn't too expensive so if you wanted to make one yourself you do need to have a small screwdriver and two AA batteries you to be able to read instructions to put something together. There are little wires that you have to connect. Okay, so we just turned it off for a minute. Um, so you will probably need some adult supervision on this project, but I think it's really fun. So it's off right now, and then I'm gonna store it upside down so the water doesn't leak out. And I hope you enjoyed my tornado demonstration. Bye.